what is an atomic nucleus that is the question for today let's start let's see the history of nucleus first nucleus was discovered by a famous physicist ernest rutherford in 1911 he was from new zealand rutherford also discovered a positively charged particle named as proton inside a nucleus he discovered them in experiments with cathode ray tubes conducted during 1911 to 1919 let's move on rutherford in 1920 also theorized about a neutral particle within the nucleus which was named as neutron afterwards later on neutron was confirmed and discovered by james chadwick in 1932 james chadwick was a was a british physicist and a student of ernest rutherford so what is an atomic nucleus an atomic nucleus is a small dense and positively charged region at the center of an atom the word nuclei is the plural of nucleus and this word is taken from latin word which means kernel of a nut or head of a comet in terms of biological sense nucleus means seed inside a nut a nucleus is composed of nucleons nucleon means the particle inside a nucleus when we say that a nucleus is a very dense particle that means about 99.99% mass of an atom reside in a nucleus and this mass is basically the mass of the protons and neutrons which are collectively known as nucleons another point the mass of a proton is approximately equal to that of a neutron look at the table the last column clearly shows that the mass of proton and neutron are approximately equal along with both of them have same angular momentum and spin strong nuclear force a force which binds together the protons and neutrons to make a nucleus is called strong nuclear force this is one of the four basic forces in nature the other three are gravitational force electromagnetic force and weak nuclear force weak nuclear force is the force between two same charges means the force between two like particles for example two between two protons that is the electrostatic repulsive force and that force is known as weak nuclear force the strong nuclear force overcomes the repulsive force inside the nucleus that is produced by the weak nuclear force so the weak nuclear force work as a repulsive force whereas the strong nuclear force work as a and as an attractive force which binds the nucleus and all other constituent particles unstable nuclei too many neutrons and protons upset the balance inside the nucleus disrupting the binding energy from the strong nuclear force in this way the nucleus becomes an unstable nuclei and an unstable nuclei tries to achieve a balanced state by giving off a neutron or proton this process is known as radioactivity and in a and and the action is known as radioactive decay for example carbon 14 decays into nitrogen 14 here carbon 14 are the parent isotope whereas the nitrogen 14 is the daughter isotope let's have the summary nucleus was discovered by rutherford in 1911 rutherford also discovered the positively charged particle 
proton inside the nucleus. It was again Rutherford who theorized about a neutral particle inside an atom called the neutron. Neutron was discovered by a British physicist James Chadwick in 1932. About 99.99% mass of an atom reside inside a nucleus in the form of the mass of protons and neutrons. And the force which binds together the constituent particles of a nucleus is known as the strong nuclear force. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give your feedback. Goodbye.